Hi guys, today we're going to be playing Dear Esther. Dear Esther is a, a kind of mystery suspense mystery game uh, based on an old mod from uh, from Half-Life 2 from the Source Engine. It's been uh, it's been remade and turned into its own fresh game. It's available on Steam now, recently out, and, uh, and we're going to take a look at it. So it's, uh, it's a first person game, so let's double check for me. Yeah, that reverse mouse is enabled because I can't do a thing without that. And let's head back, and uh, I think we're ready to start. The Lighthouse, Chapter 1. I'll try to keep the talking to a minimum because this game is very much an audiovisual poetry experience and I don't want to ruin that. Dear Esther, the gulls do not land here anymore. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing stock driving them away. Perhaps it's me. When he first landed here, Donnelly wrote that the herds were sickly and their shepherds the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. Three hundred years later, even they have departed. Strange lighthouse corner of the world. Let's investigate. And my flashlight turns itself on automatically. Hello? Anybody in there? No. Perhaps there's someone in the bucket. <laughs> Five aces has been here. The left click zooms in. Right click doesn't seem to do anything. So here we are, a strange lighthouse, very mysterious, very eerie. Not much to it. Let's check this building next to it. I thought I heard something. Something move. Just a boiler room. Lots of paint. Is it paint? Yeah, that's that's some kind of paint. Looks like this place could use a lick of it. Let's carry on. Do we take the high road or the low road? I'll opt for the high road. Careful of the barbed wire. slipped and fell. Well, I'm not going to go all the way back, so I might as well stick to the coast now. Slippery rocks covered in seaweed. Crab traps. Empty. Haven't been used for a while. This beach seems very derelict.
There was once talk of a wind farm out here, away from the rage and the intolerance of the masses. The sea, they said, is too rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. Donnelly's book had not been taken out from the library since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. Only companion in these last days. Something of a hermit. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Infection? Strange. I quote directly, a motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? A ship. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Not sure exactly what's going on on this island. But it's starting to get spooky. I would leave you presents outside your retreat in this interim space between cliff and beach. I would leave you loaves and fishes, but the fish stocks have been depleted and I've run out of bread. I would row you back to your homeland in a bottomless boat, but I fear we would both be driven mad by the chatter of the sea creatures. What are these? Chemical compounds? And something else. Looks like somebody was trying to create a cure for something here. I 
think we've explored the cave, not much to it. I dreamt I stood in the center of the sun, and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl, and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. Were the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom all the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Some strange stones, books. Chemistry. And I have no idea what that is. Perhaps a Bible? This truly is a mystery. I have no idea what's happening on this island. Did I arrive on that boat? No. Did I make those drawings? It's down here. Not but the rocks in the ocean. Let's press on. I've got to get to that red light in the distance. That radio tower. I have to find out what's going on on this island. Okay, well, we'll call it there for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed uh, enjoyed what we've done. We'll definitely be carrying this on, so stay tuned. And next episode, we'll we'll move on to the next chapter in this uh, in this atmospheric mystery. I've been Shin. Click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.